Okay, now for question number seven from the new P1 at Excel paper, um, the international A-level uh, version, January 2019. Um, question number seven now. Um, <clears throat> figure three shows a design for a structure used to support a roof. The structure consists, consists of four wooden beams, AB, BD, BC, and AD. One, one long straight piece of wood there. Given that AB equals 6.5 and BC and BD are both 4.7 and angle BAC is 35 degrees, find to one decimal place the size of angle ACB. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm just to make uh, life a bit easier for us, I have prepared something over here. Okay, so so we can see what's going on better and do our calculations here. So we have here AB is 6.5. So 6.5 meters is here. Okay, BC and BD are both 4.7. So BC and BD are both the same length. So I'll mark them with the same marking. So we can split this isosceles triangle. We might need it. Okay, it's 4.7. And BAC is 35. It's marked already. Okay, find to one decimal place the size of angle ACB. Okay, so we're going to find this angle here. I'm going to call it X for now. Okay, so we can see that this is a non-right angle triangle. And we have a pair of opposites that we know. And a pair of opposites in which one is, thing is unknown. And that's what we need to find, which is the angle. So we can say the sine of angle X over 6.5 using the sine rule. Okay, the sine of an angle... The ratio of the sine of an angle over the side, length of the line opposite it will be the same for any of the three sides and angles in any, any triangle, whether it's right angle or not. So we can say the sine of the angle X over the length 6.5 will give us the same ratio as the sine of 35 divided by the length opposite that, which is 4.7. Now, so sine X will therefore be 6.5 times sine 35 over 4.7. Okay, we're dealing with degrees here. So let's make sure the calculator will be in degree mode. Okay, so if we take the calculator, we check, yes, it's in degree mode. So we're going to have 6.5 times a sine of 35 divided by 4.7. And that should give you 0 0.7932. So x, that is this that is a ratio, not that this is the sine ratio for the particular angle that we're trying to find. So to find the angle, we press shift or inverse sine, which can calculate shift sine of our answer that we just found. And that equals 52.489. 52.489. However, what we notice is that angle X is an obtuse angle. Very clearly marked as an obtuse angle. And what we found is not obtuse. Okay, that's because there are two angles which say, well, there are more than two angles. There are an infinite number of angles which share the same sine ratio of whatever this value was. Okay, and one of them, the first one that we, we, that we get, get to from our calculator Okay, the only one the calculator shows is the first one that we get to, which is 52.45, we can say, right? So there's another angle over here, which also has the same sine ratio. Okay, and that angle, up to here is 180 in the sine curve, and that angle is the same distance below 180 as this is above zero. So it's 180 minus 52. 0.489, whatever. Okay, so that's the angle we're looking for. In a triangle, it's possible for um, you know the angles to be between zero and 180. Okay, less than 180, and just above zero, it's possible. Okay, so this angle is possibly f possible for it to be acute or obtuse, and in this case, of course, we can see very clearly they're looking for the uh, obtuse angle. So we should write down 180 minus our answer. So the answer we we got 180 subtract. The answer will give us 127.51, so 
So 127.5, one dot dot dot, it says to one decimal place, so 127.5. 127.5 is the answer to one decimal place. Okay? So that's part A done. Okay, that's part A done. 127.5. Yeah, okay. Then it says, find to the nearest meter the total length of wood required to make this structure. Okay, so let me just save this answer under A. Okay, and then we can continue because I might need that answer. All right, so find to the nearest meter the total length of wood required to make the structure. So you need to find the length AB plus um, BD plus BC, which we all know, plus AD. Now if we take this whole triangle here, okay, if we take the whole triangle there, we're going to have a triangle that looks something like this. Let's make a sketch of it like that. Didn't come out too good, did it? Well, that's not bad. Okay, it shouldn't be right angle, actually. Can I change it? I don't think so. Get rid of it, let me try again. Okay, so let me just do it like this slightly. Whoops. Up in there. Okay, slightly this way. Just gonna make it not make it too good. Okay, that's not bad. It's not it's not good either, but anyway. Here we have my normal pin back. Here we have B. Here we have D. And here we have A. This is 35 degrees. Okay, this is um, 6.5 meters. And this is 4.7 meters. And we've got to find what this is here. Let me call it Y. Now, I know that this angle is 35. Okay. Now, if I know what this angle is here, I can then find Y by using the um, sine rule, okay, I can use the sine rule, y over sine of this equals 4.7 over the sine of that, I could do that. Okay, so let me try and find out what this angle is here. Now I know from the previous question that the angle on this side is 127.5. Oops. Use some geometry here. This is 127.5 degrees. 127.5. Okay, uh, therefore I can calculate what this angle is. Okay, this angle is going to be 180 minus 127.5 plus 35. Okay, so the angle in this section here will be as follows. We're going to have 180 minus, we're going to have our answer from before. 127.5 okay plus 35 brackets okay that will give us 17.489 so this is 17.45 you can say now if I find what this angle is and I add it to the 17.5 then I've got the angle we have here now how can I find this angle well I know that this AC D is one straight line and this angle is 127.5 so that angle must be 180 minus 127.5 okay one second what did I do yeah that was the answer so let me store that in as B okay that's stored as B in case we need it again so now I've got 180 minus the answer that I stored as A okay and that gives me 52.489 so this is 52 actually of course it will be that 489 so that means this must be the same because they're base angles in a triangle okay an isosceles triangle so this is also 52.489 so the angle we need here okay let me call it the angle B uh, okay, the angle B here 
is going to be, oh, you know, it's the angle B, um, CBD, let's call it CBD, is going to be 180 minus 2 times 52.489. Because the two angles are the same. Okay, so you end up with your answer being this times 2. Okay, and you do 180 minus the answer, which gives you 75.02. 75.02. Okay, so the total angle here, okay, is going to be 75.75.0, what was it? 0 0.02 plus 17.5. Okay, so I'm going to add this with 17.5, which is, we call it as B. Okay, and that gives us 92.51. So this angle here is 92.51. Okay, let me store that as C. Okay, so now we have everything we need to find the side that we need AD. So we can say AD, AD over the sine of the angle opposite it, which is 92.51. Okay, must be the same as, and uh, you got 4.7 over sine of 35. Sine of 35. Let us use that side. Okay, so we have AD is going to be 4.7 times the sine of 92.51, sorry, 92, all over sine 35. Okay, <clears throat> so let's just stick that in the calculator. So we have. Um, 4.7 okay times the sine of what we have in C okay which was 92.51 divided by and you got sine of 35 the sine of 35 and that gives us an answer which is 8.1863 okay so it's 8 Point one eight six three. So our answer in the end is AB, which is six point five, plus BD, which is four point seven, plus BC. Okay, BC is the length inside here, from B to C. That's four point seven as well. Okay, plus four point seven plus A to D, which is 8.186, 8.186. Okay, so the total perimeter, therefore, or not perimeter, the total length of the wood, it's not perimeter, is it? Total length is therefore going to be given by the sum of all those. So let's just add them together. We've got this answer, plus 4.7, plus another 4.7, Okay, and plus 6.5. And that gives us 24.0863, 24.0863, dot, dot, dot. So round that to, does it tell us how to round it? To the nearest meter. So we're going to write 24 meters. Okay, 24 meters. And the last question said, find to one decimal place. That's what we did there. Okay, good. Just make sure. So there we have our answers to question number seven, part A and B. So be very careful about these kind of questions where you have to find an angle using a sign. One of the angles is possibly obtuse. The calculator will only give you the acute one. Okay, so you should make sure that you take great care in those type of questions. Okay.